Hey everyone, this is Nick, and today we're gonna take a look at a storage service that ticks most of my boxes in terms of online storage for photos and documents, and that is minimalist, open source, encrypted, and privacy focused. So let's take a look at Crypti. Okay, really quick disclaimer here, the guys at Safing, which is a sponsor of the channel, introduced me to the guys at Crypti. I took a look at their product, I liked it, and I decided to make a video about it. But it turns out they were also willing to pay me if I could release the video faster. So who am I to turn down free money, especially if I can keep complete editorial control and say the negative stuff, which I can. So this video is sponsored by Crypti, but don't worry, I'll still be completely honest on it. So what is Crypti? Well, Crypti is an online storage service for your documents and your photos that is privacy focused and encrypted directly on your device. From the file name to the file contents, everything is encrypted. It's made in Estonia, in the European Union, which means that it has to abide by the strongest privacy laws there are, basically in the world. So Crypti has a bunch of features to help you upload, store, sort, categorize your documents, tag them, whatever. And it also has a really complete markdown editor and what you see is what you get editor for your documents. So you can use it as a place to store all your work, your written work, your masterpieces, like I just did with this file. So Crypti runs in a web browser and they have a progressive web app. So basically you can run it anywhere, iOS, Android, macOS, Windows, Linux, Temple OS. Well, maybe not Temple OS, I'm not even sure if they have a web browser. Basically you can run it anywhere. And also it lets you sign up anonymously for your free account. You don't have to provide an email address if you don't want to. Or you could sign in using Google if you like irony. Okay, now let's take a look at what Crypti can do and we're gonna start with the photos. And even before that, let's talk about the user experience, because if you're a minimalist like me, this thing is nice. It's all simple, smooth, black and white, with good use of typography and primitive shapes. Now, it's a look that I personally find extremely compelling, but it's not a very common look. And as such, it might make some people feel a bit lost the first time they try it. But it's really simple to get a hold on. It also hides a lot of power under the hood. Once you've uploaded some photos, you can add tags to them in natural language. For example here, I have added a bunch of pictures of a trip I made to Guadeloupe a while ago. I can type, this is my lame attempt in hashtag Guadeloupe to try and not look like a hashtag tourist. And these hashtags will be intelligently recognized and used in my future searches. All the tags and the photos you add are encrypted on your device, so Crypti can't access them at all. This also explains why thumbnails can take a bit to appear if you scroll around like a madman. They are generated on your device as well. And then you can search using natural language again, like for example, pictures I took in Guadeloupe in the morning. And Crypti will find just that, based on the EXIF tags of the pictures. You can also add hashtags to your search to narrow it down, it's all pretty cool. You can also just browse and view your photos in albums or using a timeline. Using it on a touch device is also pretty smooth, it's, it's a really nice experience. You can also favorite photos to find them afterwards. Now the photos experience in Crypti feels like something that is handcrafted, something I would want to curate, not something where I would just dump every single pic I ever snapped. Anyway, Scripty also has handy guides to help you move your photos from another service as well, including Google Photos or iCloud, so I left a link in the description for these. Now the second pillar of Crypti is document storage. Once again, it's a very minimalistic experience with beautiful layout, typography, and really amazing presentation. If we take a look at the documents, everything is handled through a sidebar on the left. Your recent documents, folder navigation, and the ability to create a new document. Uploading files is just a drag and drop operation that will take a bit of time as everything has to be encrypted. Encryption happens on your device directly and the contents and the file names are both encrypted so the team at Crypti can't access any of it. Once you get some stuff in there, you can browse through your folders and documents, you search to find something specific, and interact with each file and folder with renaming, deleting, duplicating, or just moving stuff around. Crypti can preview some file formats like images or PDFs, and the viewer itself actually has a lot of features in terms of navigation, text selection, rotation, zoom, whatever. Simple text files can also be edited in Markdown, and with a pretty complete editor. You get most features you might want, including font choices, sizes, weight, highlighting, lists, spacing, alignment, tables, adding images or videos, hyperlinks, you name it. You can also spell check and the editor will generate a table of contents for you as you add headings. And you can get a handy panel with a lot of hotkeys and shortcuts to add that markdown formatting onto your document. 
There are also options to export your document into PDF, Markdown, HTML, or even DocX. Now, it's a very nice, very clean writing experience, and I could really see myself using that for long-form writing for when I write my novels. It's, it's really good. Oh, and all these files, you can make each one or complete folders available in offline storage, so you can keep editing them and using them without an internet connection if you're using the Progressive Web App. Now, another feature of Crypti for documents and for photos is the creation of ghost albums. These are folders that don't show up in the normal browsing on Crypti. They only show up if you type their exact names. So this is useful if you have some, let's say, not safe for work photos of yourself or other people, if you're working on a super secret project that you don't want anyone to be able to see over your shoulder, or even if you're in an abusive relationship where the other has access to all your accounts and you want to hide stuff from them. Still, there are some limitations to what Crypti can do. First, it doesn't have desktop or mobile apps, or at least not native ones. You can install the progressive web apps and get access to offline storage, for example. It's an easy click in most browsers or inside of iOS and Android. But they are not native desktop clients, which means that this rules out automatic sync between your desktop and the cloud and automatic photo upload. So the guys at Crypti tell me that they are working on a solution for auto upload or desktop sync. But the problem here is twofold. The first problem is that everything is encrypted on your device. So each time you wanted to encrypt a file and send it, it would have to ask you for your encryption key. And that's really annoying. Or it would have to store the encryption key on the device, which is not very secure. Now the second problem on mobile devices for automatic photo upload, for example, is that those mobile OSs don't like apps using a lot of CPU cycles in the background, and encryption can take a lot of CPU cycles. So basically, the app would have to be open at all times, it would use a lot of battery power, it's just not super practical. So for now at least, Crypti works better as an additional space online. It's not a complete back and forth file and photo sync from your computer to the cloud. It's more designed to be a place where you can store files and photos securely, work on some of those documents directly online, and only add what you really want to store there. It's not a competitor to Google Drive, for example. But it's a bit more intentional that way. In pure minimalistic fashion, you only store what you really want to put there. It's not a complete dump of all your files and photos. It's not a backup solution. It's something that you choose to use for specific tasks. Now, the second point that might raise a few eyebrows is the pricing. Out of the box, Crypti only gives you 100 megabytes of storage for free. That's enough to try it out, but not really to use it daily, at least not if you intend to store photos. If you only write documents, then you should be good to go. Maybe I shouldn't tell you to use it for free? This is a sponsored video, after all. Pricing starts at 3 euros per month for 10 gigabytes, and then you can get 400 gigabytes for 9 euros per month, and 2 terabytes for 27 euros per month. Now, this pricing seems a lot higher than what you could get on competing offers like pCloud, for example. So I asked Crypti exactly about that exact competitor, pCloud, because this is the only one I could find that does encryption as well. So the explanation here is pretty simple. Crypti isn't venture-backed and funded. They don't have investors, which means that they can't afford, when they launch their product, to drive the prices down and hope that enough people will subscribe that it will become sustainable. Their prices are prices that make them sustainable. They are already sustainable today. But it also means that there are going to be issues with the pricing, which is it's going to be a little bit higher because they can just waste money every month in the hopes that the investors will cover the losses. This also ensures that Crypti will be around as long as people are paying, which might not be the case with pCloud. Because even if you pay, if they have not reached critical mass to ensure that these low prices are sustainable, one day they might shut down and you might lose access to the service. The second point is that Crypti is open source. They use the open PGP JavaScript framework, which is the same one used by ProtonMail, which means that basically they have no competitive advantage in the encryption space over somebody else. All their code is open source and auditable, which means that everybody can see what they do, and as soon as they create a new great feature, anybody could just copy it and start their competitors using that feature. So they can't really secure their technological advantage. But on the other hand, it also means that all the code is auditable and can be verified, so you know that it's private and secure if you can read that code, or you can maybe trust others or third-party investigators to see if the code is secure and private. And that's something that you can't do with competitors that aren't open source. Okay, so Crypti, what can we take home about this? 
Well, basically, it's not a competitor to Google Drive, Dropbox, or stuff that you would want to dump every single bit of your files and photos in there. It's more of a secure enclave, a secure private space where you want to store and curate what you send in. Whether it's photos, documents, specific files that you want to protect, it's made for that. It's not made to be a complete dump of your whole digital life. For me, it's not an issue. I like that system, it's intentional, it's minimalistic, and it forces you to kind of look at your files and folders and not keep what you don't want to keep, which is good. Now, the pricing tiers might be a problem for some people. For me personally, they are not, because my needs are covered by with 100 gigabytes of storage. And as such, I'm covered by the 400 gigabytes plan of Crypti, which is still way too much for me, but it's only 9 euros per month. If I wanted encryption and storage space, the only other competitor I could see is SpeakLoud and it's 12 euros per month at the cheapest. So sure, I would get 2 terabytes for that price, but it's also more expensive and I wouldn't use all that storage space. So basically for me, Crypti is cheaper than SpeakLoud, but that might not be the case for you. So you have to decide which storage space you want to use. If Crypti is not for you, it's not for you. I'm not getting any commissions on this. So if you don't want to use Crypti, don't use it. That's not going to dock my pay or anything. But if, like me, your needs are served by a secure enclave and you don't really want to have those kind of files synced to every computer that you own, then Crypti might be for you. And in that case, I left a link in the description below. You can create your free account and give it a shot. And that concludes it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't hesitate to like or dislike if you didn't. You can also subscribe and turn on notifications. And you can also go watch this video on Odyssey and all of my other videos on Odyssey if you don't like YouTube. And if sponsored videos annoy you to hell, then you can also join my amazing Patreon subscribers and YouTube members and get access to a weekly Patreon cast and the right to vote on the next topics I'll cover. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!